Welcome, welcome to Living with Grace. My name is Anne, and my name means grace, and I believe that we are living in God's grace at all times. Trust me, the things that we do, the things that we don't know, God loves us that much to um, understand and give us grace in those things. This video, oh my gosh, I'm like random, but I have time. This video is about um, cleaning, 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 meaning cleaning our homes, cleaning our mind, cleaning our, our lives, decluttering. And that can happen in, in many different aspects, but we're going to narrow it down to decluttering our thoughts, our mind, <laughs> our mind. There are times, and I like to pause and think before I speak because I tend to, blah, 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 but not anymore, thank God. There are times when we allow our thoughts to overwhelm us and it brings back memories of the past. It brings it bring back it brings back memories of hurt and pain. It brings back memories of good um, moments when we have time, when we're actually sitting. Because the busyness of life would cause us to or have us to not have that time. But when we have that time and we're like sitting there thinking, we think about how our family used to be, how we used to be growing up, what what hurt us. And then we're like, we start crying and we let our emotions get the better of us. And the thoughts overwhelm us. We allow our thoughts to overwhelm us because we entertain it. So as we're decluttering, this is this is what I would say decluttering is because I recently had to do it again. I believe that God has given me his mind. And when thoughts come in that exalt, try to exalt itself above what he, his mind is and what he thinks, I, I don't think of it anymore. I cast it out. But there are times where I'll just like sit on it and it, I will sit on it for like, I would think it's minutes, but the, by the time I look at the clock, it's like hours. And I'll ponder on it for the sake of, why? And I question it. And that can harm us. That can really harm us because God has delivered us and God has set us free from the past in the sense of healing us. And if he hasn't, these are areas that we got to give to him, right? So decluttering. When we're decluttering our home, like I've been doing that recently. I don't know if you can see that catastrophe. There's like a mess over there in my room. I cleaned it up. I went through my clothes and through seasons we do that. We go through the change, the switch, but we give away what needs to be given away. We throw away what needs to be thrown away and we replenish and get stuff that it suits us during this, this season coming, right? So with our mind, knowing that God thinks of us a certain way because we read his word and we understand what he says about us and how much he loves us, we need to do away with the negative thoughts. And we think that it's thoughts. To be honest, sometimes it is because we entertain it, but most of the time it's the enemy recapping some stuff to us, recapping what he did and all that stuff. And we, we, hold on, let me, the mic, this, this, it's heavy. <laughs> we recap it by entertaining it and the enemy will have us think about it over and over again like we we didn't overcome that or it, it's still a bad thing when it's not a bad thing anymore. Like he causes us to question what God has already done in that situation, you know? And we entertain it because we're like, oh, you know? And we need to remember that that's the past. God has already healed us in that area. For the enemy to bring it up is because we probably might not believe that God has healed us in that area. So we start to entertain it. We start to question it. And it's like an hour goes by and like, you know, and you're crying and you're, you're in your feelings and you don't want to do anything and you don't want to see anyone and you don't want to, you know, it's like it lasts for a while. What I'd like to say is this, because it happened to me recently. <laughs> I need to sit down for this. When the enemy brings up something that, God clearly saved you from and did a good work in you, in that situation. We need to believe that. We need to remain there. We need to understand that it would not reoccur. And even when some things try to arise in a sense of similar, like it's similar to that situation, it's just like, I realize now it's the enemy trying to 
sometimes I give him too much credit. I I would say that it's it's a familiar place that I don't need to entertain. Like I don't need to entertain. I don't need to give it thought. I don't need to ponder it. I don't need to, I don't need to question. It. I don't need to to bring it to life by even talking about it. I'm just like no 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 no. And so with the decluttering aspect of this video is that when let me fix this camera. Hold on. Was holding it is giving me. There we go. Right, right. Decluttering would be like, in my mind, would be like, this doesn't serve me anymore. These thoughts, it doesn't serve me anymore. This is not who I am anymore. God save me from this. Why am I even entertaining it? Like, I'm not going to think about it anymore. And if I have to use my words and say, you know what, to the enemy, you know what? Get thee behind in the name of Jesus. Get thee behind. Like I'll use my words, especially when it comes to something that has that was really, really deep and was traumatic for me. But God has set me free from that. So why are we bringing that back up? And then I could also think that the enemy's bringing it back up because he's trying to, you know, hinder what's about to happen because he knew how he had me bound before, right? So decluttering now, decluttering. Decluttering in your mind, you cannot do that on your own. I, I wasn't able to do that on my own. That's why I use God's word and, I, and I, I'm brought to remembrance of what God has done. And I'm brought to remembrance to, hit, to his word and what he says, you know, uh, renew, your, renew our minds, renew our minds in his word. Like I need to, let me, oh my gosh, I'm like throwing scripture all over the place, not even correctly. Um, I'm saying I'm going to put the scripture here <laughs> about renewing our mind. Reading is where to understand what he, what God has done for us and how much he loves us. These are the things that we need to think about. You know what I'm saying? So it's easier to declutter and to clear our mind of the negative because it's not God. It's, it's not, it's not from God. So why are we entertaining it? Right? So even as he changes me, you know, even this top, I think I'm going to like, I might give away. I might, I'm not sure, but as he's transforming me and changing me, I am no longer the Anne that used to be. I am his daughter now. So I need to look like that and be confident in that and willingly surrender to that. So decluttering would mean decluttering the way that I used to think, decluttering my closet, decluttering my home, decluttering even friends, decluttering even family folk, <laughs> right? Um, there's a difference between having family fellowship, like I'm, my family's in Christ, right? But I have a biological family and I understand that they might not speak my language in terms of the biblical and, and kingdom language, but I love them just the same because God gave me that them as a family. But there's some family members that just don't need to be around me because of the way that they think about me and how they allow the enemy to use them. But I'll love them just the same, but I don't need to have them in my intimate circle, right? So that was a different Decluttering, you change your hope for the better. And so decluttering is necessary. You get rid of things that no longer serves you. You get rid of the clothes. You get rid of the friends and family. Have to say it. You get rid of even your, your location where you live. Uh, and to, not, not getting rid of, you change by moving because the time there has expired and you know what I'm saying? So even with jobs, like you're promoted because you're different. You've gained so much more knowledge to that you can attain more in, in a sense of getting a, a different position that serves you, right? So with our minds, even in relationships that we've been in, it doesn't serve us anymore. You know, I, it, we can't even blame them anymore. We it's, it's us and what we attract and what we entertain, you know, even it's me that dresses the way that I dress to, you know what I'm saying? It's me that speaks the way that I speak to entertain certain company in the same vocal, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I have to be accountable for myself. And if I want change, I need to accept the change and change while the changing is happening. Right. Cause I'd be changing, changing. And Loving yourself, because it should be for the better. Decluttering, getting rid of, it should be for the betterment for you, you know? And as we're changing, we acknowledge and accept that season 
that friend, that position, that place, the way I used to dress. I no longer dress that way anymore. The way I used to speak, I no longer speak that way anymore. The way that I used to think, I no longer think that way anymore. We're saying it because that's where we're at right now. But we don't speak negative of the experience that we went through because that was what we were, you know, we were in those situations because probably we didn't know better. We didn't, we didn't understand. Um, but we don't say that it's a bad thing in a sense of like, oh, oh, you know, and those people, oh, it was an experience. And so when we know that we have come to a better place in our own lives, we speak well of our past. We speak well, even of the, while we're decluttering, like, oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember that. Wow. I remember this. It's, it's, it's a, it's a good thing because you've overcome it. And we need God to overcome these things. We need his word. We need his truth. We need we cannot do it on our own because it becomes a cycle. I don't know. I'm going into something else, but I'm going to stop here. It's good to declutter. It's good to unpack. It's good to face the situation and look, take a good look at yourself and have that reflection of like, I want to look more like God. I want to look more like Jesus. If you're, if that's your walk, because sometimes we'll look at rappers, we'll look at entertainers, we'll look at our, even our, our mother's, or our family members say, I want to look like them. But you got to remember that God has a different plan for each and every one of us, right? And when we trust God more, we tend to go to him for the change. Go to him and ask him, what does he want for us? Instead of us doing what's best for us, because I've done that and I just went like this. Uh, I, until I got confused, I'm just like this, this is not good. This is a this is my will. This is my understanding. God, what do you have for me? And the more that you spend time with him is the more that you get revelation in that, right? And allowing the Holy Spirit to speak to you. And while you're decluttering, it's okay to reflect on it, especially if you've overcome it with God through that situation. And always remember that he loves us. We are under his grace. <laughs> we need to allow him to change us. We need to allow his words to penetrate our thought process and our mind for us to be that. And it's a beautiful thing. I just need to say it's a beautiful thing. And for you to want to go back, like that, that's that's a different topic in terms of if you really received Christ. Because when you're you when you were in the world in it because I was in it and you receive Christ it's like psh, I don't want to go back I don't know for anyone else for me I'm just like oh no to go go back to what go back to what like God continued to do a work in me and it's a beautiful thing because it's a relationship it's it's trusting God more and understanding the process and understanding where he's taken us from and allowing him to do it willingly, right? So decluttering is good. I think it's really good. As the seasons change, and we're like, yeah, summertime, we want to reveal skin. There's a time and place, man. There's a time and place. Conviction is good. And let's not judge each other with harshness. Let's judge each other with love. You know, I've been convicted. I, I looked at some of my stuff. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I prefer to be modest, classy, chic, and edgy uh, and sexy as well. But my sexiness is for myself right now until my husband comes. And yeah, yeah, I'll end it by saying that. Let's declutter and allow God to help us declutter. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. All right. <laughs>